Hey guys, welcome back to RK Garage. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. On this video, I'm going to be giving you a rundown on how to flash a tune into your factory NA, uh, VX, VU, or VY Commodore uh, using Tuner Pro and OSC flash tool. There's been a shit ton of people inboxing me asking how to do it, so I'm going to try and do it a bit more in depth. Got a screen capture running uh, on the laptop, so. We'll dive straight into it. First thing is you need to download Tuner Pro. So open this here. Go to Tuner Pro, download version 4, click on that. That'll be all good. Uh, you also then need OSC Flash Tool. My spacebar barely works. Should be the first link. Click on that and you'll find somewhere there the download here. Download that. All right. The third thing you need is then one of these ALDL cables. This one's from MBS Customs. So the best thing to do is you plug it into the laptop first. Then plug it into the car. I've got the seat back a bit so that I can... Uh, Sit in here comfortably. Just give me a sec while I grab the scene. Right. She's plugged in. You gotta make sure you plug it into the laptop first, not the car. Otherwise, it thinks that this cable is a mouse and your screen will go weird. So, what you wanna do is open up Google here and type in the one enhance factory bin how to bring up the link click on that you want to download whatever it is you have which here we go you can see the two there on the screen capture vx v6 na vy v6 na both say order but you can choose manual on it. don't worry about that so that's fine leave that as it is then you want to open up tuna pro I oh, already got it open. Open up Tuner Pro. You want to go open bin. You want to locate where you've installed that. Load the bin and click on XDF. Select XDF. Go to where you've downloaded that. Load that. And you want to go to acquisition. Load definition file. And then where I've got that. Now. This is a handy thing here for people who just want no VATS and you go to option flags, go to VATS is disabled, set means off, which it already has. I've got a manual transmission, so I won't need a quick set like that. Uh, get track VSS, I need a quick set. So that's that. Then what I like to do is save it. I'm going to put it on the desktop. Is VY V6. Manual, no, that's so we got that. Now I'm going to attempt to flash this in the car uh, with it all plugged in. I've rigged up a test bench way of doing it so you can uh, load tunes onto the ECU outside of a car. If you want to watch that, it will be, I think, that one or up there, there, or there. I'll have one quick on that link, but I'll show you guys how you make it. So anyway, after that, you want to open OSC Flash Tool. You want to go Options, Preferences, uh, click your vehicle. So this is a Flash PCM in vehicle. Interface is USB ALDL. You want to click that. Always click the Flash PCM to auto fix checksum. Just makes life so much easier. Click OK. Now. If this key barrel has worked, and you click connect to ECM, it should attempt. Well, looks like this isn't playing. Oh, there we go. Cool. It was so connected. Now, what you need to do is you need to write, the very first time, you need to write the entire bin into the ECU. Not write, cow, 
right the bin and after that when you modify stuff you can just click right cow but the first time you're putting in this new uh let's say firmware on the ecu it needs to be right bin which you can see there's a little up in blue i'm not sure if the screen capture shows the mouse so you click right bin it's gonna say this it may if there's a risk it can fuck up the ecu i've got a couple spares in case this goes bad these are all the ones that i was doing the lumpy tunes we'll go back to after i want to flash in the no vats tune yep click yes now hopefully it should go through fine. It's waiting for a heartbeat. Let's see if it works. I think I've bricked two or three ECUs in another car doing this, so let's see if it works in here. If not, I'm just gonna go straight to the test bench and get it, do it that way. All right, so as you can see here, it is now riding everything to the ECU, hopefully it doesn't fail. I think it was when it got to the 4,000s or 5,000s is when it failed before. Um, we'll see. Hopefully we'll be all good. Just Keep letting it do its thing. You'll probably see the speedo moving up and down, whatever, possibly the taco as well. Just depends on how it all talks to each other between the, the PCM, which is the ECU, the BCM, and I forgot the third thing's called. Too many different things that all talk to each other in this. So we've got 60 seconds left, hopefully it will be all good. Um, and after that, I might flash in my uh, Gumpy Idle tune. We'll start this and then I'll flash in the Gumpy Idle tune and see how that goes. Well, it looks like it's gotten further than what it used to in my other car. It's, it's always stressful because uh, you can't exit this. you got to keep, keep clicking retry if it fails and it can just brick the ECU, which basically means just throw it in the bin. And if this is your daily or something and you're fucked because you're going to have no car. So I always tell people don't do this if this is your main source of transport. Do this on a fun car, a weekend car, or whatever, a spare car you've got. Just in case. Alright, we've got one second left. Maybe it failed. It's got to rewrite it again, or this is a second part of it. I don't remember. So let it do its thing. Let you guys enjoy my desktop where you can see all the shit on it. Yeah, there's something for you, Mr. CFB. Alright, 20 seconds, let's see. Oh, it says zero retries, so it hasn't failed yet. I think, I think the max it will retry is 20 from memory, maybe it's 5, might be 5. Um, does that, and you know you're fucked. Put your camera on. Oh boy, it's going again. It could be here a while. But I'm going to keep it rolling. So you guys have no idea what car this one is. This is an EcoJet that I'm sitting in. This is another car which... I'll do a video 
probably tomorrow on, which will probably come out a week later or whatever. Oh, here we go. Let's see if it's going to work. This could be where it fails. This is why I do the test bench style. There's none of this heartbeat shit, it just writes straight away. Apparently there's a fuse you can pull out. Yeah, alright. That was a success. It worked. I guess, uh... No idea what it's doing right now. We should probably be cut out of a video though. Oh, there we go. All done. Disconnected. Alright. Moment of truth, eh? Let's move for seat. Closer. I'll just stop. That screen capture. Well, we still started. So, the new tune was flashed in. This one should be slightly enhanced as well. It's got uh, no vats and whatnot. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is flash in my lumpy idle tune um, I'll come back to you guys once that's flashed in and we'll see if we can hear it here's a little video to finish it off I've actually my lumpy idle tune in it hopefully you can hear it alright in case anyone was wondering Rev it and it'll come back down. So you straight back into it. Completely drivable. But just like you might have seen my other videos online and whatnot, this proves that when people ask for a cam just for their sound, that's not the way to go. Pick a cam for its function, but idle is in the fucking tune, alright? If this doesn't prove it, I don't know what is. It's a dead stock cam just with my tune chucked in it. And you can even hear the whining of head off over here from it. But anyway, um, if, I, if you think I've missed anything or you've got any questions, leave a comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe as well. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys who want to flash your own tunes in. And um, we'll either see you guys working on this thing or the ute that's tucked away down back there. On the next video, more than likely. See you later.